Let's talk about types of cancer in a little bit more detail. Cancer is a situation where one cell has gone bad, develops DNA mutations, cells multiply. And cancer is named and behaves almost always based on where it starts, uh, which organ it starts in. So for example, if I had a cancer that started in my lung, that would be lung cancer. If I had a cancer where the cell went bad in the liver, that would be liver cancer or in medical jargon, hepatocellular carcinoma. Now, it is possible for a lung cancer cell to multiply, divide, for cells to break away and spread to the liver, but that's not liver cancer, that's lung cancer that is metastatic to the liver. So that's one concept of the terminology that we use. When somebody is found to have colon cancer, it's because the cell that went bad started in the colon. Um, and even though the colon cancer cells may break away and spread to the liver, again, that's not liver cancer, that's metastatic colon cancer. So, the, so there are many different types of cancer. You can have cancer that starts in the skin, uh, you know, the head and neck area, uh, the bone marrow, um, the liver, the lung, the breast, and so forth. The ones that start in the solid organs are sometimes called solid tumors. And the ones that start in the bone marrow which is where we have production of red blood cells, are sometimes referred to as liquid tumors. It's not really super important, but just suffice it to say that leukemias and lymphomas are types of cancer, and the cell that's gone bad is something that almost always originates in the bone marrow or the lymph nodes. With different types of cancer, they can act really differently from each other. Um, you can have cancers that are extremely slow growing um, and can take years or even decades uh, to cause any problems. And other types of cancer where they multiply very quickly and people's health can change over a matter of weeks, sometimes even days, their health can deteriorate. There are hundreds and hundreds of different kinds of cancer. Each one of them acts a little bit differently from the next. And it's really important that you start to pay attention to exactly what type of cancer we're talking about and I hope this helps you start to understand some of the concepts.